so Dr. Longbow has already told us that yes, we have to brush our baby teeth. What about brushing or cleaning the gums? The teeth come in little by little. For me, they've been going away little by little. But anyway, for the child coming in little by little, so there's a lot of gum in there, not just teeth. Do we need to clean, brush, wipe the gums? Uh, yes, we do, because bacteria can cling to anything. So it doesn't have to be on, on your teeth. It, it could cling uh, on the gums, definitely. Uh, and um, it's also important to, to uh, clean the gums so that we stimulate the, uh, the growth of, of the uh, baby teeth. So sometimes they're just below the gum, and then we can see that the gum is starting to blanch to become yeah. white. And, and if, if you uh, clean the gums, you're, you're stimulating that area. Uh, and it, it makes it uh, more comfortable for, uh, for uh, the eruption of the, uh, the baby teeth. And uh, uh, also that way, uh, we're um, sort of teaching our uh, babies the, the feel of having something in their mouth. Uh, and then it, it makes the transition much more smooth when we, we, the teeth come out and we start brushing. So um, uh, the important, uh, the basis of prevention is simply to remove what doesn't belong there. So All right, now let me sneak a personal yeah. question in here. The, my 10 week old grandson, and I'm seeing two little white spots yeah. here. Yes. Is that the teeth underneath, basically? Uh, yes. Is that what I'm yes. starting to see? And, um, and uh, if, if you're, you're cleaning the gums, you may I'm stimulate not yet, that. but I'm going to do that. I have to make sure my daughter, you are watching this one, right, Liz? You wanna make sure you watch this video, yeah. okay? So be sure to clean that because yeah. yes, we have to, brush and clean the gums. Yes, and even if there's bacteria on the gums and it doesn't uh, cause any harm, but it's a habit uh, and we're being right. consistent, so that way the baby understands that, uh, you know, they learn by feeling as well. So if they, all their lives they, they've had some, somebody go in there and clean, then uh, later on when it's, uh, uh, it's more uh, relevant and more important when all the baby teeth are there and then you go in there. It's not such a trauma for your child right. and they're used to it already. Good right? point. Right? So Dr. Julie, you're not just a dentist, you're a mom and you've been through this with your own kids. How did the kids start to react when you're trying to do this very early uh, dental hygiene work with your, with your own children? I mean, um, it, it could differ. They could either just welcome it or just fight it. Um, it's easier to, you know, if they fight it without teeth, it's easier for you. <laughs> they can't bite your finger yet. <laughs> they, can they can still bite. They can gum you'd your be, finger. You'd be surprised. My son didn't have any teeth until it still 10 hurt. months. <laughs> till 10 months. And uh, until then, he used to eat everything with his gum. So they can still bite, but it doesn't hurt as much. Um, but again, just treating them slowly. And again, it's just staying uh, tuned to what's going on with the body. Um, the same way that, you know, when, when you have... Um, a young child, you look and make sure everything's okay with the body, um, the, you know, um, in general, make sure the skin's okay. Well, the mouth is part of the body as well. Mm -hmm. So just make that habit of cleaning the mouth, um, just keeping things healthy, clean as possible. Have you ever come across a, a strategies that help make it more enjoyable? I mean, that make it both more enjoyable for mom and the child to make it into a fun experience, or is there a way to do that? Um, well, again, it just it shouldn't it shouldn't take very long, right? You just um, you it's, know, it's pretty quick. It's yeah. pretty quick. You just take a, a cloth and you know make sure you wash your hands, um, keep your hand clean, hands clean. Um, take a clean like baby cloth, wrap it around your finger, and kind of just wipe around you know the gums. Wipe, look at have a look at the mouth and see if anything um, you may have concern with. If you do, then um, you know, speak with your your doctor or your dentist, and we can certainly have a look at it. Um, but it's just being staying tuned and aware of what, what's going on. In so the part of it is that it actually helps you be a good observer. You know, you're taking the time to actually, you know, yes, yes you're cleaning, but you're also catching things early that you and can then report to the yes. dentist. And that's like spending time with your baby too. The same way, you know, you um, you tickle them, you um, you hold them. So it, you know, it's just a very fast, um, you know. A procedure to do. So you're making it part of the routine, part of, routine. of daily they'll, life. They'll get, they'll get used to it. Some even may be better than others. <laughs> uh, but you know, when they're young, um, it's much easier. <laughs> yeah, better than trying to start at teenage years yes. or something like that. <laughs>